Hey guys, James Danley. Welcome back to 1284 South Bates. Three months ago, we gave you guys a pre-market tour of this home, and as predicted, this home sold off-market. It's done now, we close later today. We wanna to give you a final tour of the finished product. I can't wait, come on in, let's take a look. Hey guys, welcome back to 1284 South Bates. We're gonna start here in the foyer of the house and I'm gonna talk a little bit about the floor plan and the functionality and how this home is different from a lot of the other housing product you'll see built on these 50 foot lots. And Dan Lynch who built this home and is beloved by the city of Birmingham does a great job being thoughtful in uh, the design and bringing in like really good experts in, in every facet of construction from Brian Nieper to do the architectural design to Jeffrey King who did the interior design to John Morgan from Perspectives who designed all the custom cabinetry. There's a lot of thought that went into this because building on these smaller lots with tight footprints is actually pretty challenging to work in all the fundamental elements that a uh, family needs for everyday living. And so as you come in the front of this house, the first thing you'll see over to the right is a coat closet and a formal powder room. And this is nicely tucked away at the front of the house, away from your entertainment space where everyone's entertaining and gathering. It's not, you know, put right next to it so you have some element of privacy. To the left, you've got a beautiful office study with floor to ceiling windows, which gives you a beautiful view of the street. A really large size study with access to a bar that is actually in between the office space in the formal dining room so that if you're working and you're away from the family you want to grab a drink or a beverage you have access to do so without being completely distracted and you can go right back to your work so follow me through the rest of the house the thing you'll notice here is we've got windows going up and down both staircases really good natural light and then the back of the house is really where it's at you have one large l-shaped great room and this is important because a lot of the homes that are built on these 50 foot lots are tight and they, they will separate and put the formal dining room on the front of the house, but then it's segmented from the rest of your living and entertaining space. It doesn't, able to, it doesn't enable you to host as many people at a time. Whereas here, the formal dining room is massive. You could put an extension on tables you know, for holidays and fit probably um, 10 to 14 people at the dining table there. <clears throat> the other thing you're gonna notice about this um, kitchen is the symmetry. So John Morgan's really big on designing custom cabinetry that looks like built-in pieces of furniture. So you'll notice the cabinets are perfectly symmetrical on both sides of the sink. Not only is the kitchen designed for usability with all the proximities and the functionality and the island design, but it's aesthetically gorgeous. I mean, all the cabinetry looks like built-in pieces of furniture in the wall. And it's, it's just a nice added touch compared to a lot of the generic L-shaped kitchens that you'll see. Family room is a really good size. And then again, on this lot, what was so special is the depth. So this backyard is uh, 40, foot, 40 foot deeper than the lots across the street. So that side of the street, the most of the lots are 50 foot wide by 120 foot deep. Here we've got a 50 foot wide lot by 160 foot in depth. And that provides you a lot more options for your backyard. You could fit a pool back here if you wanted to. You get a lot of entertaining space. You can develop a patio, a whole outdoor living segment if you want to. So as you come in off the, uh, the garage, you got a really nice mud room drop zone here, um, charging stations, and then you have a second powder room that's tucked away off the mud room for kids to use or uh, as they're coming in and out of the house that can be shut off with a uh, pocket door. So that's a nice touch. Usually on these floor plans, they don't have enough space. They usually fit one powder room. You've actually got two in this house. So the last thing I wanna point on this first floor is off the kitchen area here. You've got a really nice large walk-in pantry that is all built up by the finished carpenters. And then you have a nice little breakfast bar area with plugs to hide your coffee makers, uh, blenders, and all kinds of stuff that you really don't want out on your kitchen surfaces when you're entertaining. You can tuck them away, close the door, and no one's gonna see them. So, first floor is a wrap. Let's check out the second floor. Welcome to second floor at 1284 South Bates. I really love this floor, especially compared to a lot of the other housing product you'll see built on similar lot sizes in the neighborhood for a number of reasons. 
Usually the other builders will try to pack all four bedrooms into the second floor. What that does is it usually restricts your master closet space and your laundry space. And you end up with smaller bedrooms, really not enough adequate closet space to where the owners have to use secondary closets and the extra bedrooms and so forth. So we are very intentional about designing this second floor. It's beautiful because we have three really large ensuite bedrooms with walk-in closets, excellent sized bathrooms, and we have a really large laundry with daylight windows. We have the fourth bedroom on the third floor, which is also a private ensuite. So it enables us to squeeze a lot more into this second floor, especially uh, for the master suite. So you actually have two large his and her walk-in dressing rooms. So come on, with, come with me, let's take a look. So here you've got one of the bedroom en suites and directly next to it, you have a mirror image of that bedroom en suite. Both have walk-in closets, both have uh, full bathrooms with showers, exact same mirror images of themselves. Laundry's in the front of the house. And then here in the back, the entire back half of the second floor is all master suite. So <clears throat> king size bed would go here, nightstands, audio visual is directly across. You have a huge dressing room here with a daylight window and you have an additional dressing room over here with the daylight window. So you have his and her dressing rooms more than adequate for your closet needs. And last but not least, the master bathroom suite. So I love this bathroom because you have a really nice grand entrance. Uh, you have a soaker tub, vaulted ceilings, excellent natural light on both sides of the home. You've got his and her vanities here, tucked away on either side of your entry doors. You have a water closet back over here to the left with a daylight window. Now these gla this glass will get frosted, so you'll have, um, you won't have visibility, you'll have privacy for that space. You got a linen closet tucked away in there. And then your master shower, which is over on the other side of the right of the tub, is uh, really nice and bright. Seamless transition, there's no threshold as you walk in uh, to the master shower. It's beautifully designed with excellent symmetry. This space is awesome. It's exactly what you want a master suite to be instead of being like tight and constrained. Last but not least, welcome to the third floor of 1284 South Bates. This is by far my favorite space in the entire house because it has a lot of flexibility and options. In the world of post COVID, you could use this as a second office, a cigar room, an entertaining space. There's a lot of great options. There's plumbing in this wall for a bar if you want to build in a, build in a bar up here. You could fit a, a lounge chairs or a desk space here, mount a TV on the wall, and you have your fourth bedroom above grade on the second half of the third floor. So really nice bedroom ensuite, large walk-in closet, private bathroom. This is great for guests or potentially the oldest kid, however you want to use it. And the best part of the third floor is this incredible rooftop patio. It's wired for heaters, so you can heat it and use it three seasons. You've got incredible views. And in the summer and spring, once this tree blossoms, you have quite a bit of privacy too. So whether you need a second office, whether you want a cigar lounge up here in a bar um, to play poker on weekends with the guys, you have a lot, of, a lot of different potential uses for this space. And it's one of the best parts of the house. Welcome to the lower level here at 1284 South Bates. This space is designed to have a lot of different potential functional uses depending on how you guys want to utilize it. So when you come to the bottom of the stairs, you've got a nice clean, open, great room. Audio visuals all tucked away on that wall for theater, um, entertaining space. There's plumbing in the wall to the left of it for a potential bar area, you want to build out a bar. This space could be used for games, foosball, pool, or you could change the flooring, put mirrors in the wall and convert this into a workout space. You get your fifth bedroom suite down here, nice large bedroom, full walk-in closet. You have an additional storage closet that's completely built out and another full bathroom. So all in all, you've got five bedrooms, five full bathrooms, two powder rooms, and you have four levels of divided functional space. Works out to be perfect for the everyday Birmingham walkable lifestyle. 
So as we discussed when we started this home tour, 1284 South Bates was sold off market. That means it wasn't being actively listed in the MLS. And in today's real estate climate with record low inventory, it's more important than ever that you have a competent, well-connected local market expert representing you for your real estate needs. If you're having trouble finding a home, call, text, or DM us today. And remember, we live, work, sell. Thank you.